Hey guys, so this is going to be just a quick tutorial on how to easily animate and make stuff in Unity and render it out. Maybe you're already an animator or you're a game developer and you want to do some animation type stuff without having to learn After Effects, this is a great way to go. So first thing you need to do is go to Window and go to your Package Manager and in the Unity register download the recorder. Make sure you have the recorder downloaded. After you've downloaded it, go to Window, General, Recorder, open your recorder window. I have it docked over here in the corner. Set your settings to 4K or whichever setting you prefer. And then just to show you how I did this scene here, I'm going to make a new scene. And what I did was I made a Hello World in Blender and I'll include a tutorial in the description on how to do that in Blender. And then I move the camera, let's get our double view going on here, right up to the Hello World, try to center it there, and then back it way out. And this is because we want the field of view to be really small when we're using text. And this rule applies to all 3D editing programs, or animation rather. All right, the Hello World looks readable. And then you're gonna make a new material We'll set the color to green, turn the emission on, set that to green, and we can crank up the emission and apply that to that. And then we're going to make a post-processing layer. So create an empty post-processing, post-processing layer. Actually, we need the volume first. Make sure you to check is global or it won't work for some reason in built-in. And then make a new profile, add an effect. We're gonna add bloom. And it's not working yet because we need a layer on the camera. So we're going to go to the main camera and add the layer. And then we're going to put them on the same layer. So I already added the layer, but add something like post P to your layers and then set post P to the post processing layer and then the camera to the post P layer. And we need to change the background. So in the lighting settings, we're going to create another new material. I don't know what that one's doing. I'll just leave it. And this one's going to be completely black. And then we'll go to the environment and in the sunbox, we'll set the sunbox to black. And then we can actually lower the intensity of that. Something more reasonable. Hmm, I wonder how I got it not so harsh last time. Might be the intensity. Let's see. What was this one's intensity? Yeah, half. And then it was smooth too. That looks a little better. And we can crank this up. Yeah. 1.5, I don't know, two. All right, and then another tutorial I'll include in the description is this mask shader and this mass object script, which I took the update out of because we don't need it for animation. So then we'll just make a 3D object, a cube, and put our glow material on it and then the Z nope maybe the Y nope I always get it wrong X 0.5 set it in front of the H and then duplicate the cube make it bigger slightly so we'll do like 0.75 oh we need it to be long so like 10 long like too big so like really doesn't matter it just needs to be slightly bigger 1.1 1.1 and then we are going to put the mask material on it so again create a new material and we're gonna find this mask material so pin mask there we go and then we need a timer and I have this other script so of course animating in unity is going to require just a little bit of programming knowledge but it's not too hard so what this does is it waits one second and then destroys the object to destroy it's that simple and so just we're gonna call this the cursor cube and put that there and then we'll call this the mass cube and we'll parent it to the cursor cube because we want it to move with the cursor cube and then i'm actually going to go back to this other scene i forget if you need an extra object or if you can just place this script right on the object i think you can just put it right on the object you want to use or is it so if you ever want to find an object in unity or a script in unity on an object you can't find it. Copy the name of the script, mask object. There it is, mask. So I put it on the mask and then which object I want to mask. Okay. Let's try to get that. Why does this one have such a more blue effect? Ooh, there we go. And 
go to the mask, and then we're going to add that script. So the mask object, and then the object we want to mask to the uh, array. And now when we start it, it should. Yep. Oh, what happened? Why did it go zippy da? Oh, it's destroyed. Yeah, it's being destroyed over a second. That's what's happening. So if I disable the timer. Okay. So yeah, you can't see the text. And then the timer should destroy the cursor and the mask after a second, which displays hello world. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So everything's happening correctly. For now, we'll just disable the timer. And now we'll go to the cursor cube, which has the mask as the child. And we will create a new animation. I'll just call this one Tut Animation. And then click Record and move it slightly so it leaves some keyframes. And then we want to skip to the end and move it to the end of the Hello World. Maybe like that. I don't know if I cut it off. I think I cut it off on the explanation point last time. And now we should get this effect. There we go. But it doesn't really look like typing. So fix that. We'll go back to click on the cursor cube with the animation window open. Take our keyframes. And we'll just move on the animation. So here we want it to wait one frame. So one frame forward. Just wait one frame. And then when it gets to the E, we're going to basically do the same thing. Just wiggle it. Oops, hit record. Wiggle it slightly. And then move forward one frame. And we're going to hold it there one frame. And we're going to move forward again to the L. Where would the L be possibly? Right about here, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's going to be going so fast you won't be able to tell. So double hit, tap the record. And make sure you move in the transform, which some people might get, be confused. How are these keyframes happening in Unity? When you hit record, you got to move the transform to tag a keyframe. So then we'll just move forward one frame, copy paste the keyframe, and I'm just going to repeat this for the rest of the letters. And then it gets kind of weird here at the end because it like speeds up, which I'm sure I could f change with the curves here. But instead of doing that, I'm just going to go with it on the dope sheet because it kind of looks right like someone's speeding up as they type so I'm just going to kind of like cheat it here so copy that keyframe paste it back and then just kind of let it go on that last one and that should give us the effect that something's being animated eh, but it's repeating so go to your animation clip there it is tut animation and disable the loop time now start it again all right cool now we want to save it, so we'll start recording. Okay, cool. And if it messes up or whatever, we can just start the recording again. After you've started recordings, if you're new to Unity, you need to stop the player because this plays the runtime, this little playhead here, which lets you see it if you want to preview it. And then if you want to record it, you're going to click start recording. And then when you're done recording, you're going to click this playhead here to stop the recording or stop here. And then down here in your output, Click that and it will open up all of your outputs. And that's what we just made. And then if you want to add more pizzazz or something, there's the timer. Okay. So maybe I want it to like wait a second. I'll add like 1.2 seconds or like, you know, a fraction of a second. All right, cool. Maybe 1.1 will look better. Yep. And then you can just add more effects you want, like the particle system and make its shape a box and reduce the start size and put a material and these glow materials on it which is just the same material but the color changed that we made earlier and I'll duplicate it once move it over slightly and put some blue material on it and then we want both of these to pre-warm so that they are showing up when we click start and not loading after which is for animation and click play bingo now we can record it 
cool beans, and it's on our output. Also, let's not forget there's a few more rendering options you can use. So down here in the anti-aliasing mode, you can set that to use the different modes you need to enable deferred rendering. So go to go to graphics and it will have use defaults on, disable use defaults, switch it to deferred on all three. And then you can enable the anti-aliasizing. TAA is best, especially for recording animations. And then go to quality and with the high selected, set it to times eight multi-sampling. And one more final thing that is optional, you can go to your player and switch to linear lighting. If you're just making animations, just a different type of lighting, honestly. But we're gonna use gamma because gamma looks better for this project. And that's that. And also one more side note, for those not too familiar with Unity, after you create a new project, just take the project files and drop them into the assets folder of your project. So say this is your Unity project, you'll have a folder called assets. You can just drag this in. You can also just drag this directly into your project. All right, see you guys next time.